video assumes you have watched the introduction to the z-axis and mesh videos already. It builds directly on the mesh video. Let's look next at the latch page. While we sequence along, we can see the page settings change as new states are reached. For example, if I change the settings on the access page, then as soon as the Zmod gate comes in, I jump to the next state with its own access page. But each channel also has a latch page that exists over and above states. Press the currently selected channel button to enter it. We can tell we're in latch because all six program page names are lit. Right now we don't have any locations latched, so the channel's movement is still decided by the access page. But if we latch a couple locations, the channel will now move only to these places, regardless of state. The latch page is not stored and does not change when state changes. It is a non-destructive way to play while sequencing states. Although I'm only using one channel right now, each of the three channels has its own latch page that we can reach by just pressing the channel's button. And we can always return to program pages by pressing the current channel's button again. Note that whenever a channel has locations latched, the channel button flickers to show it, even when we're not on the latch page. This can serve as a helpful reminder that the access and gate pages are being overridden by the latch.